Through a lot dealing with this music shit, man. When they get to the top, you know, it's obstacles. It's a lot of things you have to go through. You know, it's a lot of potholes you gotta dodge. You always gotta look both ways when you're in these streets. Make sure your shoes is tied too, because you just might trip up. And one thing I learned dealing with the riot squad is that movements move. And if you look at a lot of the hip hop stars started their own labels, started doing them, they started moving further. When they had a movement, a foundation, a machine behind them. So I still always, you know, play with this KKP shit saying it years ago. You know, cause I felt it, I just felt it. And to see Kamikaze Posse coming and play for the 2014, it's a beautiful thing. And I, and I, and I really feel it's our time. It's a new situation, new movement, new hip hop. Music, get ready. See, it's been a long journey though. Word, it's been a long journey. Been doing this for a while. Came from a place that, you know, it didn't shine much light. It's like digging yourself out of a hole. Or you keep just looking through the dark until you see a little bit of light. Because you could get trapped in this world I'm in. <laughs> Especially in Far Rock. You see this guy right here? That's me. Core 2 G's. Flow of the Century. Original Riot Squad member. You know, a lot of people don't know, you know. I done did records with Kanye West and Nicki Minaj, Joe Buttons, Corey Guns, Tony Ayo. And the list goes on. But, you know, since nobody else want to tell the story or pay homage, then I guess I got to do it myself. So it's a new day, new time, new hip hop. Basically, you know, I'm still Riot Squad, you know what I'm saying? One of the co-founders as well, as a day one member. If y'all know who I am, Core 2 G's, the flow of the century. Stack Bundles used to call me the RR man. Kamikaze Posse consists of not just artists, but you know, producers, singers, directors, actors, models. It's like a multimedia company. And that's what I'm formulating. I'm putting movements down with my movement. Um, the first artist I am dealing with is the son of the late great Freaky Top. Rest in peace from the Lost Boys. Um, legendary rap team from Queens. It was signed to Universal. You know, they had hits like, you know, Leps, Coops, Beamers, and the bands to do the dance on. They had it turned up. That's what, you know, that's what I was about. So, you know, he, he's coming from greatness, you know. I was around greatness. And I used to always, you know, see him when he was going to college at that time. So. He was always doing the music, he had the TLC shit, you know what I'm saying, Team of Choice. Him and his, uh, him and his homie, and his little brother. And I always wanted to work with him, you know what I'm saying, but you know, sometimes it is, it is hard to work with the youth, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, you know, some, some don't want to listen, some do, so, you know, I really gave him a sat down, I talked to him, you know what I'm saying, and he was like one of the main niggas that really went, went it, went hard. So I was like, yo, he gonna be like the, you know, the first thing coming off this. 
situation. And he just been improving a lot. All these tracks I attack like a Mac if it's rap, keep it rap, click clack, get the bag, motherfucker, tell these motherfuckers good riddance. It's FKAK, and don't forget that KK, lock in boost, them boys different. Pull up coops, them toys different. We got a lot of Kamikaze Posse affiliated artists, such as Money Bag, Scraps, Mike Mills, you know, G-Man, and it's a couple of artists I'm going to keep on the hush, because I want to surprise niggas, because that's how the Kamikaze Posse is. Like, you ain't gonna know who everybody is. It might be a nigga that's standing right around you while you running your mouth about one of us. You know what I'm saying? We a movement that's ready to blow up by any means necessary. You know, Cole, like I said, me and Cole got the big bro, low bro relationship. So it's always learning. We always vibing off each other. Cole's a crazy creator. They call him young Quincy Jones. For me, sometimes you don't understand the method to his madness, but you know it takes it takes the finished product sometimes for you to fully get a full understanding. You know, he me for a hot verse. You know, he got he wants some ideas to bounce around, or if he just helping me on fixing something, perfecting my craft. We just in there just making it happen. So we was in here one day cooking it up. You know, regular usual studio night. G's pulled up. He was pulling up beats. He like yo, like like he always he always pushing the envelope, man. He like yo, I right, let me see if niggas really spitters. I'm like yo, go ahead, throw it on. Nigga pulls out the big L.E. Bonics joint. So in my head, I'm big and I damn, I'm I niggas gonna go finagle this joint. So I'm like damn. Then the G's like yo. Nah, don't go off like like L did, cause you can't touch that. That's already been solidified. Don't 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 do that. So I'm like damn, picking my brain. So he hear he's like, yo, let me hear your first couple balls. Cause you know you gotta like break the ice with that. Once you break the ice with that, we're gonna kill him. So that's what I remember my dream. Something, something, I got the light so da -da -da. I said so the dream referred to, to to a lighter and the light so making a torch. He like, nah, don't do that. That joint is hard, but you can go harder. You can go harder. So every ball I'm throwing at him, he like, nah, go harder, go harder. Until so I said, I said, disaffect him. I got the light so 99% of my verses, but it was a slight call. I hit it with that. Sun just changed the whole vibe in the studio. Changed after that. We put it together. G's jumped into his character. You know it ain't much. You know I got to do on that. Some like I said, he didn't know where he be want to go with things. So he jumped into his character and embodied it. That's how they bonnets came about. Right now, you know, I've been um, I ain't really been going out too much. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't been doing none of that party and shit and none of that because you know that shit costs. And it's like, if you're an artist, you gotta use that money to invest in yourself. You know, I mean, I don't knock nobody for how they get on, but you know, the people I seen last was the ones that had a foundation. You know what I mean? Lock that in. You know what I mean? Not, you know, chasing chasing the DJs and the clubs and all that. You know, some people it did work for, but I don't think that'll work for me. You know what I'm saying? So I salute anybody that does that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you gotta understand, I'm, I'm mixing my records, I'm doing my videos. We still we're doing my own little covers and everything. We still working on multiple things. So when I record with Freaky, I record with anybody else, We I gotta mix that shit down. So it's like, my schedule be kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, I'm a father, you know? So, you gotta understand where I'm going with this. A lot of people like, you know, like Freak say, you know, you, you're not gonna see my vision in the beginning because I'm an artist. And an artist, you're not gonna see the vision of their painting until it's done. You might be like, what is he throwing all this stuff up on there? And you don't understand it. Cause I remember it was a painter back in the day that I forgot his name, but a lot of people used to, um watch him, he had the afro, I think he passed away. And he was like a white man with the afro, he was kind of cool, old school, he used to be on the channel, he used to do the paint and shit, and carve shit. And every time he used to do it, he used to look weird, you know what I'm saying? And at the end, when he was finished, this nigga done painted a waterfall, a motherfucking a garden, the fucking jungle, and it looked imperfect. So, sometimes it's, it's really not, you, you never, if you don't understand somebody's vision, you don't know what's going on, you don't do what they do, 
try not to assume or give your opinion too much and try to ride with it because you doing that and don't understand somebody's vision, you know, then the person is like, I don't want this person around me. You know what I'm saying? Why would I, you know, want, want this person around me and all they're doing is worrying about their opinion? Opinions don't pay bills. And everybody don't know what they doing. You know? So, that's why, you know, I stay, I mainly stay to myself a lot. I don't really dibble and dab. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep everything on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Because when people are not on the same page and you got everybody there for the wrong reasons, then you know what happens in the end. Like, 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 you niggas must have got me fucking confused. You don't know what the fuck is going on. Right, comma, cop. Nigga, you out of your mind. Talk about it. you out of your mind. Do whatever you want to do. you out of your mind. I'm so far rock. Bitch, you out of your mind. You ain't on my last level. You ain't on my 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 last level. You ain't on my level. You ain't on my level. To this shit. I can dig it, dig it. so I brought a shovel to this shit. Go. If the money don't fold, then it's really not grip. grip. One headshot, make them follow the trip. 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 All banana trip. pills don't slip. If the shoes ain't tied, then the nigga bound to trip. 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 For Rock and City, get a grip. grip. It's one way in and one out. That's you it. ain't on my lap, you ain't on my lap.